It rises out of the Negev desert like an ancient monolith, a testament to Israel's commitment to a future with more renewable energy. It is still under construction, but when the tower comes online in 2018, it will be the world's tallest. Arrayed all around it, a massive collection of mirrors. Our power station is, uh, is what's called concentrated solar power, which means we have 50,000 mirrors called heliostats with a million square meters of reflective surface concentrating all of the sunlight onto the solar tower right behind me. The solar tower behind me will ultimately be 250 meters tall, the tallest solar tower in the world. Um, and at the top of it will be located our boiler, which collects the sun's rays and converts them, converts uh, heats water to steam to turn a turbine in a conventional uh, power plant. The tower and three other similar solar projects are part of Israel's largest renewable energy scheme. The tightly packed mirrors fan out across three square kilometers of otherwise open desert. The closer we put all the heliostats together, the taller the tower needs to be so that there's no interference between rows and rows of, of mirrors. It's an impressive looking project, but environmentalists say despite its size and power, Israel in general has a lot of catching up to do when it comes to harnessing renewable energy. We're still really lagging behind on taking advantage of Israel's sunshine. Israel has the potential to be a, a sunshine superpower, as well as because of its abundant amount of sun and the technological, the technological advances seen here in Israel. However, compared to countries such as Germany, whose renewable resources, renewable energy is 35% of its entire energy mix, here in Israel, we're still about 2.5% of renewable energies. But that may be changing. The government is committed to getting 10% of its total energy needs from renewable energy by the year 2020. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.